Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natty, and today I'm baking. I'm baking bread. I'm gonna make two loaves of bread because I wanna get rid of the flour I had in my pantry and the packet of yeast. So let's make bread today. I'm also making Bella her meal for the week. This week it's gonna be ground chicken with broccoli and pumpkin. So yeah, that's what I'm making this week. Nice and easy. I figured, well, it's going to be snowing tomorrow. And already, well, this week has been a shit show out there with the snow. So I might not be going to the grocery store this week. So I figured, well, I might as well make myself some bread. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you how I'm making my bread. So first off, in a big bowl, I put 10 cups of flour. Next, I'm going to sprinkle some magic salt. Magic salt, magic salt. So two tablespoons of, oh, sorry, two teaspoons of salt. Next up, let's add some sweetness. One teaspoon of sugar, white sugar. And I have this mug I put aside with some warm water. So that's one warm cup of water with one teaspoon of, or two teaspoons of yeast. So let's crack an egg and get that in there. So one egg. Next, you're gonna wanna use some warm water. So we're gonna put four and a half cups of warm water. Well, it's time to use my magic spoon. Let's stir things up. Magic spoon, magic spoon, magic spoon. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fabulous. When that's all mixed up, you spread some of this flour onto your counter because you're going to knead the dough for 10 minutes. So let's start doing that. So this is my least favorite part. I don't like getting my hands all sticky and this makes it really sticky. The flour helps, of course, but yeah. This is not my favorite part of making bread. So we're just going to knead that for 10 minutes. Just going to flip it like that, push on it. Now I'm not a pro. Like I said, I worked in a bakery before and you all know this about me, but everything came in frozen. The loaves came in frozen and I wasn't the main baker. I just took the bread and put it on pans overnight and it would rise in the proofer and uh, there we go but this is from scratch so just kind of move it around you know push it in pull it do all that good stuff we'll get her done we'll get her done All right, that's ready now. So I'm gonna cut it in half because I'm gonna separate it into two loaf pans. So let's cut this and separate them. 
sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. So I'm just going to roll it a little bit, stretch it, knead it just a little bit. There we go. Shape it and put it in the pan. So this is a greased pan and then put a little bit, of, little bit of flour on the grease or on the, well, I didn't have grease. I used butter. Um, and oh, there goes my pan. Okay. So yeah, I used butter and then I put uh, a little bit of flour on top of the butter so it doesn't stick onto my bread. So here we go. Let's put that on the counter with a tea towel on top. But first things first, I gotta clean this counter. I like to clean as I go. This way I'm not left with a huge disaster. So I'm gonna scrape this off. Actually, I have a scraper. Let's find that scraper. And here it is, the scraper. I use this to scrape things off my counter. It works great. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but we used to use these in the bakery to get rid of stuff from the counter. And it's a good thing to clean with. So look at that. It just comes off like nothing. So scrape, scrape, scrape. And right into the garbage. So now I'm just going to take these two loaves of bread. And I'm going to put them on my counter. I'm going to cover it up with a tea towel. And let it sit for about an hour. Just until it's double its size. So this is Bella's meal. Uh, it's simple ground chicken with broccoli and dehydrated pumpkin uh, powder. I just put it in there with a little bit of water and then I just put them in containers and freeze them. Nice and easy. I did it with the pork last week. She really enjoyed it. So now I'm doing it with the chicken this week. And yeah, nice and simple. Well, I guess she's good for, I guess Bella's good for a little while for her uh, meals. So these are all chicken and these are all pork. So chicken and broccoli. So this is chicken and broccoli with pumpkin. And this is pork, broccoli, pumpkin, and rice. She still has some of these sweet potatoes. And she still has these. I cut some uh, bananas, put a glob of peanut butter on it, put it on a plate, let it freeze, and then just put it in a baggie. Nice little treat for her. And of course, she still has, uh, there was something else too. Oh yeah, she still has some chicken hearts. So I cooked up some chicken hearts and put them in individual baggies and there's a big two packs left in there. So she's good for a little bit. And let's see how my bread is doing. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm just going to give it another 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Okay, so the bread has risen double its size. So now I'm just going to punch down. Just to get the air out. There we go. So what I'm going to do with one of them is I'm going to put cheese in the middle. It's going to be a cheese bread. So I'm going to use this one actually for cheese bread. So I'm using old cheddar. I'm gonna spread it throughout the bread. Just like that. A little bit of everything bagel seasoning. You could find this stuff at the Dollar Tree. This is what it looks like. 
So don't go be buying. So don't be buying it in those expensive stores for ten dollars because it's the same freaking thing at the Dollar Tree. The difference is it might be a little bit smaller of a canister, but hey, for a dollar you could buy two or three of them, right? Well, a dollar fifty. There we go. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the dish towel back on top. We'll let it rise for another half hour, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. 30 minutes later. Well, my bread is ready. Time to put it in the oven at 350 for one hour. Here's a quick sneak peek. Oh yeah. It's almost ready. Well, the hour is up and I'm ready to check out my bread. This looks fabulous. This looks amazing. Look at that. Look at that bread. I am shocked at just how well this turned out. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It baked beautifully. Look at that. So I'm going to give it about 10 minutes in the pan just to cool off a little bit. And then I'm going to put it on the cooling rack. Oh my gosh. Look, look at that. Okay, so that's the bread. It's nicely made. Nicely baked. Oh my god, it's heavy. Nice and brown on the bottom. Perfectly baked. Crusty on the outside. Ooh, ooh. Moist on the inside. That's my piece. That's my freaking piece. So Uncle Herb's still here today. Um, he's putting in transitions. So just finishing off a little odds and ends on the floor. So he's gonna be taste testing with us. There we go. Nice. Well, I get the end because I like the end. Oh, that's so fair. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry guys, I've been into it before I said taste test time. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> taste test time. Look at your hair. Everybody's having a bad hair day. That's why I have a hat on. He's got a hat on. And come on over here. Look at his hair. Yeah. All right. So here's Herb, Natty, and Jay. And we're all gonna Jay get in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm gonna get grab yourself a piece of bread there, guys. Let's try it. This is the cheese and everything bagel. Mm. Mm. Buttery. Mm -hmm. I'll put in my uh, order for two loaves. <laughs> it's good, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, I think I got. I'm gonna be on a bread baking kick. Oh. Definitely. Mm. Mm. Jay, what do you think, man? I'm not a bread and, bread and butter person, but this is good. I forgot you don't like butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. He'll eat it. Uncle Herb, you like it, eh? Mm -hmm. Nice and soft? Yeah, nice and soft. Mm. Thumbs up, guys. This will make good French toast. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll be back again soon with another video.
Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.